This is the official RPCS3 PS3 emulator Android port. And this is God of War 3 running inside this PlayStation 3 emulator on my Android device. Yo, what's up guys? It's Aptrix here. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up the official RPCS3 emulator's working version with gameplay, change log, and everything else. To get started, as you will be able to see, RPCS3 Android version 1.0 on my device. Now, this is the newest update of RPCS3's official Android port, which was released yesterday known as Alpha 3 on its official GitHub. The page now we also have some minimum requirements for the rpcs3 android port you will need at least android version 12 or above if you want to try out this ps3 emulator on your android device this is the complete port with on-screen touch controls playable games so once again i have already added it on my android device you'll be able to see in the alpha version 3 even the rpcs3's logo has been added inside this emulator anyways when you open it for the first time you won't be able to see games like this i have already imported my games that's why you are seeing all of this the first thing which you'll need to do when you open this playstation 3 emulator on your android device is make sure to tap on these three lines afterwards here you will be able to see a firmware section now as i have already imported the firmware it is showing me the firmware version tap on firmware afterwards make sure to import your ps3 firmware inside this emulator I have already made a previous setup video talking about it. You guys will be able to watch it on the iCard above. Once that has been done, you will be able to see a plus button at the bottom. With the help of this plus button, you will be able to import your PS3 games, PKJ or ISO inside this emulator. I have already imported about 4 games which I will be testing out in this video. I will be showing you guys the full gameplay as well as the on-screen touch controls test. In the previous version of RPCS3 Android port, there used to be freezing issue while linking PPU models but that has also been finally fixed. So let's start off by testing out our first game which is going to be Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. Now when you add these games for the first time inside the emulator, you might face some crashing issues but don't worry just go back and it will be all good to go. Later on I'll also be testing out God of War 3 demo on this emulator to see if it works or not and as you'll be able to see compiling PPU models is going on amazingly without any freezing issues so I'll be back once it's done. Compiling PPU models is completed successfully just like that and you will also be able to see the on-screen touch controls which have been added in this PS3 emulator. Here we go our game has successfully booted without giving us any crashing issues. At the top left corner we have an FPS meter as you will be able to see it's currently showing us about 30 FPS when this game is being loaded. Nonetheless let's wait for few seconds and there we go Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm has successfully started inside this emulator and all the on screen touch controls are also working properly which means finally you will be able to play PS3 games on your Android devices without any issues with the help of RPCS3. There we go our game has successfully fully started you'll be able to see there are no graphical issues at all everything is being rendered properly at 720p resolution that too as straight up 30 fps and one thing which i have noticed is that there is no joystick so how am i supposed to control my character we can only fight back and that's about it i won't be able to control the character because there is no joystick so you'll need to find out how to enable joystick controls so yeah guys this was naruto ultimate ninja storm what about god of war 3 let's just go ahead and close this game and launch god of war 3 e3 demo and here we go guys compiling ppu model has started for the god of war 3 in rpcs3 android now this process will depend device to device it usually takes around a minute or so at least on snapdragon 8 elite but on low-end android devices it might take longer so just be patient and here we go guys once the ppu models are compiled building spu cache will start and let's see if the god of war 3 demo game works on our android device or not at the bottom you'll be able to see it says compiling shaders and we also have an fps bar so let me zoom into it you'll be able to see it shows 60 fps and there we go so new computer entertainment presents we are about to emulate god of war 3 demo version on our android device inside the rpcs3 android now obviously when starting this game for the first time you'll need to be patient because it says compiling shaders so it will take longer than usual when booting the game for the first time once all the shaders are compiled obviously the game will boot up much faster and it will also give us more fps but i am very excited here we go santa monica studios i can't believe this but god of war 3 is about to boot inside this emulator just few builds ago this emulator wasn't even playable and here we go we have the god of war 3 loading screen let's find out if this game works or not and there we go as you'll be able to see the game has successfully booted and you'll be able to notice there are no graphical issues because i have applied the best settings i'll be making a dedicated video on the best settings pretty soon but here we go i have tapped on the x button the game froze for few seconds because obviously compiling shaders but there we go as you'll be able to see the cutscene intro everything is running properly without any issues
issues just take a look at this as usual there are obviously graphical issues just like we see inside the aps3 emulator now there is one problem though where are actually the joystick controls literally on screen touch okay <laughs> the game crashed that might be because of the incompatibility but there there is no joystick control so obviously you won't be able to control your character per se hopefully in the next update of rpcs3 android we get the joystick controls and here we go once we actually restart our game you'll be able to see all the process is much faster than before so you need to be patient just for the first boot and afterwards your games will start loading very quickly and okay it crashed nonetheless you saw god of war 3 does work inside the rpcs3 android ports alpha version 3.0 or as i'd like to call it official version 1.0 anyways that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel and stay tuned for the best settings video because it is going to be very important if you want to play your games without facing crashing issues without facing graphical issues or freezing issues anyways hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys next time peace out